Hello everyone, another fantastic magical morning and today we're gonna keep on ranking up in standard trying out new cards from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Today's uh, today's new cards are going to be uh, High Noon and Three Steps Ahead alongside Phantom of Interf Interference. So the first one, which is what the deck is essentially built around together with Enigma Jewel, is the High Noon, which is a two mana enchantment. Each player can cast more than one spell each turn and for five mana sacrifice high noon it deals five damage to any target so yeah it's pretty cool uh, it essentially shuts down all the aggro decks given that they can only play one spell a turn then we have three steps ahead we played that in a previous deck it's what it's a spree spell uh, so one blue man up uh, in base and then you add either one colorless and one blue to counter target spell uh, three colorless to create a token that's a copy of target artifact or creature you control or two draw two cards then discard our card. It's, just, it's a fine spell to interact with the opponent on his or her turn, since they can only cast one spell. If you can read, there's not much they can do. And then we have Phantom Interference, another spree spell. Uh, it's a one blue mana base again. Uh, for three colors, create a 2 2 white spirit uh, creature token with flying and plus one counter target spell unless it's control of pace two. So it's a make this appear with an added bonus if you have three more mana, which I think is not unreasonable to think. So yeah, it's another counter spell that's really good. So what is the goal of this deck? So we're playing with the Enigma Jewel, which is a one blue mana artifact that comes into the battlefield tapped. You can tap it for two colorless mana to only spend on activated abilities. Which means if I get this on turn one and you play out a uh, treasure map or Collector's Vault, you can activate these abilities on the turn they come out on curb with the ability of the Enigma Jewel, which is really cool. Then you can also, also you can help pay for the sacrifice and deal five damage to the opponent's face. Then you can also transform it by crafting it with four or more non-lands with activated abilities. And then you get the Locus of Enlightenment, which is by far my favorite card, uh, favorite part of this card. Uh, it has all the activated abilities of the cards that got exiled with it, and whenever you activate an ability that isn't a mana ability, copy it, may choose new targets of the copy. So if we have this, and we have Exiled Fairy or Wandering Emperor, it will have the Planeswalker abilities, and uh, then the Planeswalker abilities will also be doubled, so... <laughs> it's pretty sweet. I love doing this in Demir with Vraska, but... Now we're gonna do it with High Noon. So what happens is that we can sacrifice High Noon and deal 10 damage, essentially. And that's it. And if we exile this, so we can... If we use up all the ones in our deck, which is, you know, four of them, so we've de dealt one damage per se, and the opponent is life gaining, we can also exile it with the Enigma Jewel, crafting it, and then sacrifice the Enigma Jewel and deal, you know, the extra damage. And yeah, that's it. That's all I really want to do with this deck. I want to have High Noon and uh, doubling it... Uh, just smashing the opponent to bits and that's the, the entire deck really so yeah it's the enigma jewel is incredibly fun and this is also incredibly fun and it will be un incredibly unfun for the opponents with that being said let's go rank up opponent gets to go first that is not ideal when you're playing control so hopefully we don't get overrun uh but okay um, we're just gonna try to do our best against Ver Verlon. Verlon. We're playing Demir. Demir is kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and get our High Noon out. I do love High Noon. I think it's a very interesting. It's. I think it's gonna be a staple in control decks. It's that cool. Um, Verlon's not doing anything, and he's limited to one spell a turn now, which is kind of cool. Uh, do you think he has a counter spell for my treasure? Nope, he does not. Okay. Pressure map is on the board. Now it'd be cool to find my jewel. I would really like that. So let's go ahead and use this. Uh, no. I only need one map to my treasure. So I think we just go with the fairy here. I mean... Uh, is there any way we can't? No, we can't. We have to untap the land. And then do it, yeah. Felly. Felly sweet. Alright. So let's see if he has removal from my Teferi. My Taff. Yep, Soul Transfer. What an asshole. So let's go ahead and keep on activating our treasure map. That's pretty good. Counter spells are really good with High Noon. You, what do we find? Uh, I don't... Tap land is not what I want. I want to untap land. Um, uh, can activate... We can do this, actually. It's gonna cost us a treasure, but it's fine. Another map. Uh, yeah, I guess we keep it. 
And now we use you. And we untap. Oh, it didn't work the way I wanted it. It's fine. We have mana for to counter something. We have a make disappear, essentially. This requires thinking. She old red. <laughs> no! Take that shit elsewhere. You ain't welcome here. Alright, so you let me untap with a... Uh, um, Planeswalker is really good for us. And we found the jewel. Good. So... We don't play in a red land, but keep in mind that we are making a lot of treasures with the vault and with our map, treasure map, so that's what we're actually going to pay for High Noon to fire off against the opponent. Looks like he's, yeah, you just have all the spells, don't you? Hmm? Fine, take it. Not like I wanted anyway. So let's get our Emperor out. Make a token. And yes. You out. Um, uh, we have you come out. Let your do the Boom. And I think we go with you. I think we'll leave it at that for now. Okay. Really wants to shoulder, huh? Sunfall is not needed. He doesn't have creatures. Okay. So can buff you up. I got it. The opponent is very, very, very friendly. He's letting me keep my planeswalkers. They're letting me untap with planeswalkers. Get removal? No. So we have nothing to use for crafting. We have four here. I don't really want to use my high noon. So I guess we get you out. And uh, yeah, we'll just chill for now. It's not like we're under any major threat here. You can go. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and keep activating our treasure map. I don't want to have lands. We activate you. Yep, I do prefer three steps ahead. Okie dokie. So we have enough here. So it definitely take you two. We have no ways of getting them back anyway, and we can take the treasures. <laughs> if he has a counter target act, if he has a stifle effect here, I'm gonna be very sad. Okay, you out. And you might say, Average Gamer, why did you do that? You're leaving yourself uh, wide open for him to remove it. It's like, no, I have a counter spell. But you don't have any, you don't have mana, mana, Average Gamer. I do. We just put one more counter on our treasure map and we get, we get three more treasures and we can counter. Okay, opponent gets to go first. It's like I've seen this before in three sunfalls. Oh, the lolly. Why? Why are you doing this to me, Doc? All right, not three sunfalls, but hey, two to fairies. Ah, uh, this is not keepable either. Okay, we actually got land. All of them tapped. No, well. We got some early lands here. Let's go like this, obviously. Untapped, untapped. Because what if we draw a jewel here? Oh, another Azorius player. Hello. Hello to you too, sir. Good game. Good game. That's not good. Can you play with one spell a turn? Is the question though. Do you play with activated abilities? What do you have here besides horrible, horrible sleeves? Oh, that's that's what he has. Okay, so some fall is gonna be the answer. At least he can only, you know, play once with a turn. For some reason, it makes me feel so much safer. 
makes me happy to know that he can only play one spell a turn. Like, whatever I do, the following turn, they can't really do that much. They can apply the loop, but they can't actually do the fucking. They can do the- they can put some substance to make me go unconscious, but they can't really do anything to me, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do this right away, and I'm gonna get rid of this fucking shark. See ya. That was dark, by the way. Very dark. But hey, if we have high noon, not that dark. There goes uh, the Emperor. Okay. Do we act with you? Aha! And that's why we do it. Sorcery speed. God, I love treasure map. God, I love the fact that you don't have a counterspell upon on the right. God, I love the fact you don't have counterspells. See? Love it. That's how you do it. Okay. It's gonna boot me a little bit. Go. Teferi is sweet. Teferi is just like the answer everyone's looking for. Nope. You asshole. My poor Teferi. Okay. One is probably baffled. He doesn't know how to interact with this. Oh, I found you. I found you. You don't. You don't have another counter spell. You don't. You you have you you had your fair share, young man, or woman. It's over now. It's my turn to play. Okay. Then what? Okay, let's activate you. Making another treasure. <laughs> Which should I discard? And we activate you, making even more treasures, bathing in treasures. Alrighty. Okay, so we have two planeswalkers in the graveyard. We have enough mana to activate it. Or we just wait for the Emperor to come down. Nah, let's do this. Let's take the planeswalkers and take the two treasures. There we go. And let's go ahead and activate Teferi. Actually, let's do this first. We get the treasures back anyway. That's a double trigger here. Okay, get lost. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna have any samples left. Now we use Teferi and we untap our little vault. Add another land and gain four life. <laughs> Overpowered says who? Thank you. And let's just do this again, honestly. <laughs> All right. Can I get some another high noon? That'd be great. All right. Get you out. It's not really like. Do you have counter spells, really? What do you have in your hand, Haiku? Haiku. I can't. I almost forgot. Oh, he has counter spells that I can pay for. <laughs> Like <clears throat> my turn is so long, he kind of I kind of forget I'm playing with someone actually. It's like, oh god, uh, it's a two-player game. I thought I was just doing things here with my activated abilities. I'm so sorry, I forgot you. But how am I supposed to remember you when you're doing damages like this? Okay. Alrighty. So let's activate you. I'll screw right twice. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's how we win. Okay. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> We're getting two abilities, so I might as well do this first. We can untap both the treasure map and the vault. If you are allowed, that is. Ah, the rope. How I missed you.
Rose is a red, Violet's a blue. If I sl <laughs> slice my wrist, it's because of you. Okay. Teferi. Let's do this too. We'll control it. God, look at all these stacks of abilities. It's beautiful. Alright. We can activate you again. Encounter spell is not bad. Yeah, we can leave it there. All right, so it's been a while. Uh, Haiku, all right, you, you're still in this game. What do you want to do, buddy? With your nice five cards, do you have a do you have a farewell? Farewell would be annoying. I'm banishing. Uh, why don't you fuck off? I'm using my spree spell. A horse is dancing too when you counter the opponent's stuff. It's funny. You can't see it because of. Obviously, my face is going to be there. Okay. Alright. So you won't. One, two, three, four, five. Do we have enough? I think we do. Yeah, because we have uh, Teferi also. I have no... My math skills are not that right. Such a long game, too. All the tap lands. Doesn't really matter. So I have to wait the first one. Duplicate it. Two. What's worse than one nuclear bomb having two of them? And we do the second one. <laughs> do you actually have like a stifle? You don't. You don't. You did. You did. All right, opponent gets to go first. Hate to see that, but we have our jewel. We have. Three steps ahead. I mean, that's good. Against Dascar. Yeah. If we misspell Madagascar, but it's fine. So let's get the jewel out and see what this Celestial player is gonna do. Maybe it's like a mount deck? I've seen a couple here and there. Oh no, it's good old boring Celestia. Uh, so... Land out, Collector's Vault out, and since the Enigma Jewel can tap for two mana for... Uh, uh, activate abilities, we can activate it right away. This is why Enigma Jewel is so good. Okay, I need to find a sunfall. <laughs> Ode illa kvikt. Or how are you saying in Swedish? I'm starting to lose my ability to speak Swedish. Some of the like redneck stuff is gone from my brain. Alright, Danskar, do you have anything to actually interact with my jewel? I don't think so. I'll draw, discard, and make a treasure. For free. Okay. Let's do it again. Because we could actually cast no. We could cast a sunfall here if we got the correct stuff, but it's fine. We will just either we will emperor or we will counter. Uh I think we can counter that with the phantom interference. The phantom menace right here. I mean, when's the next chance we're gonna be able to use this, right? And we're gonna take five. No. Uh, well, that's all we can do. I lost all my treasures. Sad day for average gamer. <laughs> Found it. You can go. 
and we say goodbye to the opponent's stuff. Sayonara. Okay. Let's activate you again. I think we can get rid of the Collector's Vault here. And just hold the Emperor. Or counter. Okay. We're just actually just gonna take that. In case it plays something here. Okay, it doesn't. Let's go ahead and slap him in the face a little bit. Just a tiny slap. Okay. And then what? Really? It doesn't even attack. It's not what I expected. Let's activate our creature then. Teferi, where have you been, buddy? So we can activate you. All these tap lands, man, making me depressed. That on you. It's a fairy out. He's here to slow the sunset a little bit. Open you, tap you. We attack. So to protect the counter spells here. Virtue. Okay. Counter it. Draw. All the tap lands. And that's it. <laughs> I think that's all I can do for today with this deck. So we had a we had a little bit of fun with this deck. Uh, what can I say? High Noon is better than I thought. I'm actually quite excited to make this into uh, uh, later uh, another actual full control deck. So, but it worked really nice. We got it to double work with the Locus of Alignment for like five, like double spell it for ten damage. And holding counter spells and just having this out just shuts down the opponent completely, letting you like take over the game with you know activated abilities, with the Wandering Emperor and Teferi Slow Sunset. And if you fell behind, like if you're playing as Aggro, I mean turn one. If they're even if you're on the draw, they get to get turn one and two creatures out, and then High Noon and then Sunfall. And then even if they have a lot of creatures in their hand or ways to um, want to rebuild the board, they really can't. And we tried to keep it going with uh, counter spells until we survive. Uh, I don't really know what changes I make to that. It's more on the jankier side. I'm gonna try to make a serious control deck out of this, but I really, really enjoyed uh, all these new cards. So that being uh, said, thanks so much for watching till the end. You rock. Like and subscribe and... Have a good fucking day.